Hi, my name is Alistair Ben and I very much want to share with you just now a very quick processing video. Um, this is the raw file taken at Mount Assiniboine in the Rockies in Canada and I'm going to show you what I can do in just a few minutes. So I am going to consolidate this into a 4x5 to make it a little bit more um, focused. Uh, I'm going to increase the contrast a little just to push all the dynamic range out of this that I possibly can and maybe just add a fraction of clarity. Now I use the temperature slider to dictate the mood of the image so let's make it a fraction warmer and I'm going to darken the overall image a fraction too to make it a little bit more moody to give that impression of early morning. I'm now going to use the camera calibration tool to really pop those uh, warmer colors in the foreground I'm going to create a very simple vignette just to pull everything into those areas a little there. I don't really have a roadmap here. I'm just kind of working this out as I go along, just letting the image speak to me. So I'm going to brighten those tones. So really I want those yellows to be as luminous as I can possibly get them. And then I can poke up the saturation just a fraction again in those areas. And I want to push the blues because I want the blues in that background to be um, as, as powerful as possible to really give that impression of depth. I'm also going to bring in a very slight vignette here. Uh, not a vignette, uh, a gradient at the back there. I'm just going to cool that a fraction further and I'm going to darken it a touch tiny no I'm gonna have to yeah that's gonna go too dark so I can open the shadows a fraction everything on here is very much done by feel that's gone too cool now I'm kind of getting quite happy with that and I'm just going to use the the brush here to add a touch of clarity and contrast through this mid-tone area of reeds here and up into those trees. Now, given the fact that we've been going a couple of minutes, um, I'm reasonably happy with that. So there we go. If you want to see more of my processing techniques that you can do in Lightroom, then follow the link at the bottom of this page. Cheers. Have a good day.